success. So that allowed me to plan out my financial plan, my financial vision based upon that. So when you know, and then one of the things that um, I believe walking away from that, that the Federal Reserve said is that they went and they looked at the balance sheets of a lot of banks because I think that's another fear that banks are starting to fail. I'm hearing this, I've been hearing this ever since 2023, that a lot of banks are going to fail. And I just feel like we went through a crisis in 2008 and what happened was they did not allow a lot a lot of the larger banks to fail why because if they fail then we have a truly a failed economy so they it's just some type of protection seems like for certain banks and this is this is why i really don't like banks you know i really don't like what they do because they do these things they can do things like like a wells fargo did they can you know tamper with people information just for a profit and then they can then somehow the government will save them see that should tell you right there that should tell you there that you have to take accountability for your situation because they'll save them but no one's coming to save who you except for you and the information that you decide to consume and the necessary financial steps that you decide to put in place for you and your family so when you look at it, you know, the Fed said they they actually reviewed some of the balance sheet. Of course, we know they're talking about of the larger banks and they did not feel that the larger banks would fail. Why? Because they said a lot of them didn't, you know, that it wasn't that their liabilities, they had a lot of real estate liabilities on their books. I guess they're saying that a lot of their, you know, uh, customers, let's say the banks that had lent money and things of that sort to these different companies that they were actually paying it. So they didn't see that these larger banks were going to fail, but they did mention that maybe it would be a, some of the smaller banks. Why? Because a, a lot of the smaller banks cannot handle a huge liability you know we've talked about the balance sheet here before especially on the corporate and how you apply that to your personal life well a balance sheet is assets minus your liabilities which gives you the owner's equity the owner's prop um the owner's profit and what happens is now when you look at it a lot of these smaller banks their liabilities look like it may be exceeding their assets which is what danger <laughs> that's an alert if they can't meet their liabilities if if these small banks cannot meet their financial obligations then what's going to happen is they're going to be forced to close the doors now yes we do have a thing called fdic insured and but here we go there's a lot of people that have more than that in their bank account there's a lot of small Small businesses that depend on these small banks and they have more more than 250,000 they're using this money is used for their payroll to run their business things of that sort and then what happens is if the doors are closed yes you have that FDIC insured 250,000 but how long can most people wait to get their money this thing you think about it before they sort things out and then people can get their money. And why I know people are gonna have trouble is because right now statistics say that 60% of the people, over 60% of the people in America are living paycheck to paycheck. So that tells me that people need, they need that money. Small businesses are gonna need it in order to continue running their small business. So when you look at it, 